the Fortnite superheroes might not be as heroic as you think. So guys, obviously if you've seen Season 4, it was a huge update with all kinds of superheroes and other kinds of skins. Now, there's a lot of speculation about who the superheroes really are and what the story is with all the meteors and everything. And I'm here to propose a little bit of a theory. One that you guys might not agree with, but personally, I think this could be pretty possible. First of all, let me just put it out straight. I think that the meteors were actually sent by the superheroes, that's right, by the superheroes down to the map. Now I think this was an accident, I think that they were, uh, they were planning to send it to somewhere else, they accidentally sent it to the wrong planet. So let, let's go back to uh, the beginning of where this happened. So I believe that there was another planet somewhere in the galaxy that is where the villains live. Obviously, their plan is to destroy all other galaxies and take over until they have captured or killed every other person that can take control of them. Now, I believe that the planet is called Eerie Empire, and I think that what happened was the superheroes trying to save everyone uh, sent the meteors with their power, sent the meteors down to that planet to try and destroy it, but Instead, they accidentally ended up sending it down to this map, the Fortnite map. Now, I think what happened is that the reason... Uh, a lot of people think that Tilted Towers was going to be destroyed. But I think that nothing was meant to be destroyed. I think that what happened was area where the main base is on there is equal to the coordinates of Dusty Depot. So that means that just when uh, the superheroes were meeting to shoot the meteors down to Eerie Empire and strike the base, I think when they sent it down to the uh, when they sent it down to the map of Fortnite, it ended up hitting Dusty and destroying. Now I got a bunch of reasons to believe this, considering people are wondering why it wasn't tilted taken out. But if you think about it, if there are villains trying to take over the map then what do you think they would target Tilted Towers, the biggest, most powerful area on the map, right? If you think about it, now, obviously this may be a, like a, a topic that people don't like to talk about, but think about the World Trade Center. New York is one of the most prominent known places in America. Uh, with that same logic, the people that destroyed the Twin Towers they were trying to strike a pretty big landmark in America. They weren't trying to just kill a few people in a random rural area, right? They were going for one of the biggest, most powerful places in America. So, if you, if you put that back into Fortnite, wouldn't they want to strike Tilted Towers where the most people are? Exactly. If, so, if this was a coordinated attack by the villains, they, would, they wouldn't go for Dusty Depot where no one even goes anymore, right? No one even goes there, so why would they strike it? That's one thing. Now, another thing is, you think about all the meteors that came down, right? Uh, if it was a vill villain's attacking, they wouldn't send warning uh, meteors, right? They want to take them out as cleanly as possible. But the heroes, on the other hand, I believe that what happened was they sent a huge meteor down to the planet and just as they realized that it had been let go they realized that it was on the wrong path using their powers they tried to stop the meteor from going down causing the meteor to break into pieces and in all different pieces breaking into pieces that caused them to come down in showers earlier before all this happened whereas if it were the villains that they wouldn't have broken it apart they just would have let it all go down on, on tilted right now, I think those are two logical reasons. Now, the third uh, and final one, I think is the most, uh, I think it's the most convincing theory. So, 
the superheroes. They came down, right? They came down and they started participating in uh, Battle Royale. I think that the superheroes, they felt bad for everything they did. And either A, to sacrifice themselves because of what they did. It killed so many uh, innocent lives in the Fortnite map. Or, number two, quite honestly, I think that the heroes were going down to the map to act as if they were totally innocent just trying to save them. You think this would be pretty easy, right? Superheroes would make a mistake, causing themselves uh, to have to go down, pretend as if they were the ones that were saving up and hadn't caused the mass destruction. Pretty smart if you ask me, because if, if the superheroes would have laid back and chilled, it would have been suspicious. Normally, a superhero would go down and save them, but if it was their fault for the attack, they might try and stay on the low, right? So what they're trying to do is pretend as if they didn't do it. That's why they're down there. They're not there to save anyone, which is what most people believe. And that might, so might also answer the fact why there are no villains in sight. In all of the battle passes, none of them are super villains. They are all just superheroes, right? So if they were villains, villains would be down attacking after the meteor hit, trying to finish off every last one of them, but they didn't. They did That's because it was not the villains at all. It was the superheroes that tried to cover up this major story. Once again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is just a theory. So do not come at me attacking. Just state your opinion uh, calmly in, in the description. And make sure to like and subscribe if you agree with it. Or even like it if you feel something else about it. And even subscribe if you want to see some more of these theories. So, yeah, that's all for today, guys. Uh, hope to see you in the next video. Thanks. Build up. You don't want to get shotgun. Shotgun, shotgun. Use a shotgun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, Gadu. Hey. Me. Hell yeah. <laughs>